The House of Reps Ada Committee on Internally Displaced Persons was constituted following a unanimous adoption of a motion moved by Zainab Gimba, a member representing one of the federal constituencies in Borno State. The committee, led by its chairman, is in Medigiri on a three-day visit to assess the living conditions of IDPs with a view to recommending legislative solutions. Their first port of call is a town hall meeting with the affected population. Because you are IDPs does not mean you are not citizens of Nigeria. So we want you, even in this difficult condition, to have all the rights and privileges of a Nigerian. We also want to make sure that whatever decision is taken in the camp, Get your input. We don't just want to impose things on you. We want to know the extent to which you people participate in the day-to-day -day decisions that guides your livelihood here. The team also holds talks with the military and civil society partners. Discussions center around how the affected population can be safely returned home, which the people believe is the only solution to the endless challenges associated with living in makeshift camps. Some of these people you see living in the camps have with their own hands built more than three houses in the past. The senseless Boko Haram war reduced them to this level. And the best we can do for them is not to give them food and rice as if there are some helpless people in one tent where they are not comfortable. What we can do, and we will be grateful to God and us, is to improve the security situation so much that they can return to their villages, their towns, and resume their normal lives. That should be our primary focus while we try to sustain them in the IDP camp. Even though the internally displaced persons badly yearn to return home and put their ugly experiences behind them, the issue of safety remains paramount. These formed part of the private discussion between the committee and principal officers of the theater command. There is an international convention, the Kampala Convention, that governs how IDPs should be treated. Nigeria is a signatory to the Kampala Convention. We signed the, convention, the treaty in 2012. So part of what this parliament may do, based on our report, may be to recommend that we domesticate that instrument so that we can have a holistic approach to the issue of IDPs in this country. The committee says it will publish a report on its findings according to parliamentary rules with recommendations that will alleviate the sufferings of the IDPs.